Cristiano Ronaldo is back at Manchester United. I still, part of me is like, really? He is. He's back at Manchester United. But how are United going to set up with Ronaldo this season? The initial answer is obvious, but what I'm going to do is run through a couple of formations and a couple of styles of play that Man United might be using in different games with Ronaldo in the team. Because with Ronaldo in the team, you're starting him every week he's fit. Simple as that. He'll start against Newcastle and he'll start every single Premier League game this season. As he should. Might be 36, but he's still the best in the world. <laughs> Goals galore. Ronaldo will score. That was nice. Anyway. Drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. But let's take a look at Ronaldo at Manchester United this season. What are the tactics and what styles of play that we're going to see in the formations from Solskjaer? Now, the first one I'm looking at is probably the one that will happen and probably the one that should happen. It's the 4-2-3-1. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer loves playing the 4-2-3-1. He loves playing with, with McTominay and Fred. Fernandez is the number 10. Pobre on the left, Sancho on the right in their right positions and Ronaldo up front on his own. First and foremost, I want to make one thing clear. Ronaldo, when he left Manchester United, he was a winger converting slightly into becoming a centre forward. At Real Madrid, he became a centre forward. That old school Ronaldo that's doing step overs, that's taking people on on the wing, it's not part of his game anymore. It's not as efficient as staying in front of goal and scoring goals aplenty. And that's what Ronaldo does now. It's not that he's a goal hanger, but he stays very central. So I don't think Manchester United will get the most out of him if we play him on the wing. I'll look at that as another formation. But for me, playing Ronaldo through the middle there, Sancho on the right, imagine the deliveries that Sancho is going to ping into Ronaldo. As we saw against Ireland, Ronaldo from in the air, we all, not that we needed to watch it against Ireland, but Ronaldo in the air is untouchable. So Sancho pinging in crosses, Shaw coming on the overlaps with Paul Pobre on the left, balls in from Pobre and Fernandez. Mate, Ronaldo's going to score headers galore. That formation there is probably the one I think we're going to see the most this season. And it wouldn't surprise me. The 4 2 3 1, we're sticking with the 4 2 3 1. Even if we saw during the preseason, we were told during the preseason, sorry, that we were going to switch to a 4 3 3. We didn't sign a defensive midfielder, so we can't really switch to that 4 3 3. Therefore, I think we're going to see this a lot this season. And I like it. Pob is in his best position. Fernandez is in his best position. Sancho's in his best position. Ronaldo's in his best position. I think he gets the most out of the best players in our squad in terms of an attacking sense. Midfield is always going to be a weakness. McTominay and Fred, Matic and Van der Beek. doesn't matter who you play there. If you drop Pobber into the pivot, play Sancho on the left, Greenwood on the right. We've got options there as well, of course. Greenwood and Cavani. And that's what we're looking at in the formations after this one. But a 4-2-3-1 with Ronaldo as a centre forward, I think we'll see this quite a lot. What does that mean for Greenwood? I'm not sure. He started the season in sensational form. It's a question that Solskjaer has to have. But as any manager will tell you, it's the right sort of problems to have, to have multiple players, excellent multiple players in the same position. It's what you want. But that's the first formation. Let's move on to what could be the next one. And this is a bit of a, a slight curveball. I mean, it's definitely a curveball. But I've gone here to look at what United could look like if we play Ronaldo up front with a partner. I've gone for Cavani here. That could be Greenwood. It could be Ronaldo playing slightly deeper and Greenwood playing further up. But it's more like a 4-2-2-2. Two, two, two. two attacking midfielders rather than wingers. In Sancho and Fernandez, I've gone for here. Now, the only problem you've got in this formation, really, you're playing Bruno out of position. You're forcing Bruno to play slightly wider because you're playing two through the middle in Cavani and Ronaldo or Greenwood and Ronaldo, any combination of two. But maybe we'll play... Mate, let me know what you think about this formation in the comments. It's still rotating around two in the middle. That's pretty much going to happen apart from one formation, which I'll look at. I've dropped Pogba into the pivot here because it's the only way you can really play Sancho and Fernandez. And I think you've got to play both of those and you've got to play Paul Pogba. As I said, this one here is not, I don't like it as much as a 4-2-3-1 because Pogba's out of position. I would say Sancho's out of position and I would say Fernandez is out of position. So that's three players who are getting dragged out to accommodate a second striker. I think what we normally play, if you look at the 4-2-3-1, Fernandez typically sort of, he ends up playing as a second striker anyway. He needs to make sure he doesn't go up too far. He did it against Wolves and Southampton, left a bit too much space in behind. But this could happen, hypothetically. So 4-2-2-2, two attacking midfielders, no real proper width. We're going to play very narrow in this formation, play through the middle. But if you've got Sancho, Fernandez and Ronaldo and Cavani, is that such a bad thing that you, you, you would play through the middle? You let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But if we're looking at a 4-2-3-1, it's probably the main formation I think we'll see this season. 
and here is a 4 2 2 2 as an option, then we have to look at a 4 3 3. And we have to have a discussion about should Ronaldo play on the wing? This formation here, we've got McTominay as the holding midfielder. For me, he's the only one I think out of anybody in this squad who over the course of this season will be able to develop himself and do that. Matic is too, is too old for me. He's too static. And Fred is not good in that role. And Van der Beek wouldn't be good in that role. McTominay, of all of them, and I think McTominay is better as a box-to-box -box midfielder, I think McTominay would be the best option in that sense if we were to play a 4-3-3. Pogba and Bruno in front of him, easily the best position for both of them. That's the position I always want to see Pogba and Bruno play in. Up front, Ronaldo on the left, Greenwood up front, and Sancho on the right. Now, that's sexy as hell. That really is sexy as hell. And it's not to say that Ronaldo would be a bad player there. He wouldn't be a bad player there. I just don't think it would get the most out of him. It would force Ronaldo to sort of go back to an older style of Ronaldo, not the style of Ronaldo that's dominated for the last 10 years. And of course, he won a, he won a Ballon d'Or with Manchester United in this position, playing with width, playing, running at people. He was certainly more exciting as that sort of player, but he was certainly far more clinical as this type of Ronaldo, the number nine Ronaldo, rather than the number seven Ronaldo, if you know what I mean, in terms of positions he's playing in. Ronaldo on the left, Greenwood up front. I want to see what Greenwood can do this season with Ronaldo. I don't want Ronaldo's arrival to just end Greenwood's run as a centre forward. Greenwood scored in every Premier League game so far. He started in blistering fashion. I think he'll really thrive under the role model of Ronaldo. And if you think, Greenwood's only 19. Was he 19? I think he's 19. He's worked under Cavani, he's worked with Solskjaer, and now he's going to work with Ronaldo. Three incredible strikers, all for their own reasons. Greenwood's getting a brilliant, brilliant set of teachers at this age. Fantastic. And Sancho, for me, he's got to play on the right wing. That's where we're going to get the most out of Sancho. This is natural position. He can play on the left, and I think he will play on the left, really, until Rashford comes back from injury. But when he comes back from injury, I think it should be Rashford on the left, Sancho on the right consistently and then Ronaldo through the middle. That's what United's attack should be. You can rotate Greenwood in and out of that. Maybe you put Greenwood on the right instead of Sancho if he's playing better. You let me know what you think. But there are three formations. I could look at a 5-3-2, but there's no way I want this Manchester United team at any point this season to play with five at the back. So I'm not even going to entertain it. Because I don't want to put the idea in anybody's heads. For me, uh, looking at all the formations there, it's that first one. That first one is, for me, the one I think we're going to see the most this season. Of course, it's because it's the 4-2-3 one that Solskjaer prefers. So logic tells us it's really going to be the formation that Solskjaer uses. But it also puts Ronaldo in his prime position. It also puts Bruno Fernandes in his prime position. And they are the two central figures for this Manchester United team this year. Look at the spine we've got now. We've got Varane, we've got De Gea, Varane. McTominay, Fernandez, and Ronaldo. That's almost a complete spine through the middle. And that's what you've always got to build your teams on. That's why I want to keep Fernandez central. I don't want him to be forced out to the wing. It's why I want to keep Ronaldo central. I don't want him forced out to the wing. You could play both there, hypothetically. They're both good enough players that they would play well there. But in terms of getting the most out of this Manchester United team this year, with Ronaldo in it, you've got to play Ronaldo as centre forward. You've got to keep him inside that 18-yard box as much as you possibly can. You've got to get Sancho running down the wing, firing in the crosses because Ronaldo will get on the end of it. You've got to have Shaw with the overlapping runs with Pogba playing there because if he fires the crosses in, Ronaldo will get on the end of it. Ronaldo's going to score so many goals from that position if Sancho and Shaw can deliver the crosses in. And Wambasaka, of course. he could. I think he'll develop a lot this season. Fernandez, he'll fire crosses in his nice early whipped balls. Paul Pogba in that position, he can fire in crosses. It's hella exciting to see what this Manchester United team will do this season. I always, and I have reaffirmed on multiple occasions, I don't think we'll win the Premier League title without a central defensive midfielder. But this team has so much individual attacking quality that I could be massively proven wrong. We might end up winning all the games 4 2 this season. And going for a roller coaster thriller of a campaign that doesn't keep many clean sheets, but just scores constant goals. And I'll tell you what, I think I'd rather that than a 1 0 win every single week. But you can let me know what you think about this in the comments below. What is the best formation to get the most out of Cristiano Ronaldo? Is it a 4 2 3 1? Is it a 4 2 2 2 with two up front with Cavani? Is it a 4 3 3 with Ronaldo on the wing? Different formations, different styles. 
You let me know what you think in the comments below. For me, that 4-2-3-1 is probably what we're going to see the most. It's the one I want to see the most. But what do you want to see? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you enjoy these lovely short analytical videos. It's what I built United People's TV on, and I'm going to bring more of them back. Don't you worry about that. So drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and you let me know what you think about the Ronaldo tactics this season that Solskjaer should be using at Manchester United.